Is God lovable? Way back from the times of Aristotle and Plato, what we hear about God is that he is the original true existence, substance from which everything else comes. It's infinite, it's beyond, it's indescribable, and you're supposed to love it. So what are you going to serve him? What are you going to give him that could possibly be meaningful to him when he is so perfect? What do you get a guy who has everything? Here's the real secret of Judaism, which we have not shared with the world. When God came down to Mount Sinai, he came down to Mount Sinai and told us all about himself. He wasn't only telling you what to do. He was describing himself. You want to know about me? Can I tell you what I like, what I dislike, my loves, my hates? This is me. This is what it means to be God. He created the world according to his needs. He didn't decide what he needed after he created it. We were so overwhelmed by the power of the event that we didn't hear him. Finally, the Baal Shem Tov came around 300 years ago, and he said, okay, okay, it's taking you guys too long. Let me spell it out for you. God desperately needs you. He created the world because he needs you. Don't you hear him? He's been begging all these years. Be mine. So in the long run, when we face it, we experience a certain hopefulness, an optimism. I can do it. To serve God by fulfilling the commandments and avoiding the prohibitions. To merge with Him, to become one with Him which means to fulfill our vow. So if it was up to me, I would not have started this relationship because I don't love God that much. But he started the relationship. And I can't, I can't refuse it. I can't resist it. I don't worship him because of his greatness. I don't understand his greatness and I'm not particularly moved by it. It's good for him that he's great. What does it do for me? <laughs> and I'm not looking for a God that can beat up your God. So what then is my relationship with God? He is my God and therefore I will glorify him. And mine doesn't mean you belong to me. Mine means this is the relationship that I belong in. This is my purpose. I don't have to invent it, it's mine. And that makes it more precious than all the talents and all the beauty and all the goodness that exists in places that are not mine. That's called intimacy. Intimacy means I know where I belong and that's the only place I want to be. Although I can be many places, I don't belong in many places. And if my place includes some pain, and it often does, it's mine. I'll take it. And when we do that, the world can become what God envisioned. And it must, because God doesn't fail. So the world will not come to some tragic end. It won't burn itself out. It will become more. It will become divine. The God of all the worlds wants a dwelling place. He can have all the angels and all the heavenly world. Doesn't give pleasure. He wants a personal, intimate relationship. That is the purpose of the world. The real substance of this world is God's pleasure. So, is God lovable? If you have any idea what God is, yes, he is lovable. He's irresistibly lovable. You don't want to tell your children that they came for no reason and it's all going to end for no reason. And in the meantime, just be safe. You want to tell your children that God waits every morning 
for your child to do their part in this vast eternal plan.